from Bengaluru to PS University to Anthropic and the company has named Rahul Patil as its new chief technology officer succeeding co-founder Sam McCandlish who now shifts into the role of the chief architect Patil who is a Pesit alumni will now lead Anthropic's entire engineering functions that is inference products infrastructure and security as the ai lab races to keep pace with open ai google microsoft and meta so as mentioned rahul patil's journey runs from bengaluru's pes university to a global cto role at stripe with stints at aws oracle cloud and microsoft azure along the way so he is known as a cloud and an infra veteran who has scaled critical systems across industries but let's look at the scale at which anthropic is operating cloud's growth is breaking records from less than 1000 business customers to 300000 plus in just 2 years and revenue has jumped from 87 million dollars in early 2024 to a 1 billion dollar run rate by 2025 and it surpassed 5 billion dollars in august of this year Besides, 80% of consumer usage now comes from outside the United States, with countries like India, Korea, and Singapore outpacing the American adoption. And this surge has tested Anthropic's infrastructure, even forcing rate limits on tools like Cloud Cord and Sonnet 4 earlier this year. So Rahul Patel's challenge is precisely going to be this. that is keeping scale reliably cloud safe fast and global remember anthropic is also in the infrastructure race and anthropic is also restructuring its core technical group which means tightening the loop between product engineering inference and infrastructure so mckenlish will now focus on pre training and large scale model training and patel will inherit the compute and the reliability mandate meanwhile rivals are always raising the bar because mark zuckerberg's meta has pledged a 600 billion dollar infrastructure by 2028 and open ai as mentioned earlier is scaling to 10 gigawatts under stargate with oracle and nvidia But Anthropic isn't being left behind because the startup just raised 13 billion dollars at a 183 billion dollars valuation led by Iconic Ventures to stay in the fight. But the story is also about India and let me tell you why. Patel is among the most prominent Indian origin CTOs in global AI. And India is Anthropic's number 2 market. accounting for 7.2% of global cloud usage and on october 11th anthropic will host its first ever developer event in india right here in bengaluru with axel ventures developers will deep dive into cloud sonnet 4.5 the company's latest model for coding and reasoning with enterprise agents and co-pilots as the key focus and we've extensively covered the cloud sonnet 4.5 release on front page breaking down why it matters for coding agentic ai and the global infrastructure race if you missed it go check it out right now but in the end here's why this matters look anthropic isn't just filling the cto role it's doubling down on the infrastructure leadership and patel's appointment signals a pivot stable enterprise grade engineering to match cloud's surging demand look as the ai arms race tilts towards compute sovereignty trillion dollar infrastructure bets and talent wars leadership at the engineering core will decide whether anthropic can hold its 183 billion dollars momentum so here's our take from pes university in bengaluru to scaling stripes global cloud infrastructure to now 
becoming the CTO of one of the most valuable AI labs in the world. Rahul Patil's rise is a story of Indian talent shaping the future of AI. And for Anthropic, it's about whether Claude can not just scale, but lead responsibly in a trillion dollar race. So that's it for today's front page news, folks. We hope all of you enjoyed the exciting developments that happened today. And I'm sure you're going to see tons of messages in your WhatsApp group about Rahul Patil being the Anthropic's new CTO with all of your uncles and aunts asking, when is your turn? So on that note, I'm going to end the show for today. Remember to like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for AIM Network for more such streams. Thank you and have a great weekend.